I've been asked constantly about running a freeze dryer off of a solar setup, and that's exactly what I'm doing here. It's kind of a weird load, but I've got two trays of cubed pepper jack cheese, and then here I've got two trays of fresh, ripe blackberries. We'll see how it turns out, but I'm running this entire load off of my Apollo solar generator setup. So I have these two Apollos with these two expansion batteries. I've got 4,000 watts of solar coming into this, and on this extension cord, I'm running one really big upright freezer as well as another fridge freezer combo, my security, Wi-Fi, a bunch of different things. And then on this extension cord is the freeze dryer. So these are connected together in a multi-mode. So these two are basically as one. The solar input is coming in on this one and transferring over here. And I'm able to output out of both of these, which is pretty incredible. No other system on the market can do this. One of the last loads that I did was about a 24 hour load that used about 17 kilowatt hours of energy. I have 21.5 kilowatt hours of energy right here. It's about 3.45 in the afternoon. So I'm not sure if this is going to run continuously. So this is a ridiculously hard test for these Apollos to do because this is a very large load over an extended period of time. This could take 18 hours, could take 36 hours, could take two days. I don't know how long it's going to take. The cheese was not pre-frozen, but the blackberries were pre-frozen. Right now it's in the freezing mode, it's at 24, 25 degrees internally. Bottom line is I want to see if I can run my freeze dryer off grid in a grid down situation if I really wanted to. And we're doing it in the worst time of the day possible, besides starting at night, but we're outside of solar peak hours now. So the solar panels are not making as much as they could normally. And I'm running this that should run probably till about this time tomorrow, maybe later. So we'll see if the Apollo can run this as well as my fridge and freezer and security and Wi-Fi and other things non-stop all the way through the night. And if it does, that's going to be a true testament to how good it works. This has been running for over 29 hours non-stop. It's been on final drive for a number of hours now. And the percentage complete was actually further along and now it's actually backtracked. So I don't know exactly how much longer this is going to take. It's currently 9 o'clock at night. The Apollo is still running strong. You can see unit one here is at 76%. This is the one that has the solar connected to it. Unit two is at 62%. This is the one that has the heaviest load. These have been doing quite well at balancing each other. Originally it was thought that when one unit was draining or rather when this unit is draining really hard that it would not get help from the other unit until it reaches like 20 percent over here and that's not how it's been working this and these are draining fairly similarly but because this is what has the major load it drains faster than this one but it does get help from all of this so collectively we're at about 70 percent so i still have about 14 to 15 kilowatt hours of energy left here so i'm actually not concerned at all about this running through the night and keep in mind it's still running all of the other equipment like the fridge and freezer and the security i moved one of my cameras over here so i could actually monitor the freeze dryer from my phone but this is absolutely blowing me away that this has been going for 29 hours while running other equipment and it's still running the freeze dryer without any problems at all. This could easily be going for another six hours, but I'm excited that this is working so well. I've never once had a solar generator been able to run a freeze dryer, let alone be able to do it for two nights. This is just absolutely incredible. I apologize for the brightness. I just want you to be able to see the screen here. It's finished at 30 hours, 59 minutes and 48 seconds for 31 hours. It's 11 o'clock at night now started like 3 30 o'clock in the afternoon yesterday so i went through the hardest part of the time by starting in the afternoon going through a full night and then running through the whole day and then now almost midnight and i was able to freeze dry all of this off of the apollo solar generator this unit is at 62 percent this one is at 59 percent so still very well balanced Keeping in mind, I ran the freeze dryer the whole time, and of course running a full-size freezer and a full-size fridge, security, Wi-Fi, all sorts of things. So I am just absolutely blown away with these 21.5 kilowatt hours of battery, which is two Apollos and two batteries here, and then linking these together so that I can have up to 6,000 watts of output. And I've only connected 4,000 watts of solar to this, but I could have had another 4,000 watts of solar on here. This is incredible. This is like blowing my mind. I've never been able to do anything like this. And this is half of my systems. And I'm going to be doubling my system and be running my entire house, including my mini split air conditioners. This is just absolutely incredible. I absolutely love it. Now I get to enjoy the freeze dried food. Defrosted chamber. Okay. So, Ooh, Ooh, the black bear is what I'm most interested in. Ooh, Mmm. 
seeds are definitely quite thick very seedy the little bulbs are still intact uh, the seeds are very crunchy but wow this is gonna make a really really good like uh, blackberry cobbler or something like that when camping mmm and the cheese oh wow it's so light mmm 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 I like that a lot this is just a bag of cube cheese that I found at the grocery store definitely give it two major thumbs up these are delicious all of this running it off my solar generator and I still have about 60% of the battery left which is about 12 kilowatt hours somewhere around there that's plenty enough to get through the whole night absolutely delicious I am enjoying these blackberries very much and the cheese is out of this world. So good. These are just pepper jack cheese chunks. I don't know what the shelf life is on the cheese because it has fat in it. But I don't think it's going to last very long. 